What's happening, party people? It's your boy, Crazy Crack House. Back at you with another cop. I uh, wanted to go over shoot today. Uh, it has been a little bit of controversy behind it. I am behind with it. Uh, over the holidays, I just got jammed up. I, I got four or five more shoes I want to actually do reviews on. Um, this shoe here is the handcrafted Air Jordan 1. Uh, a lot of people said the shoe was trash. Uh, uh, they would never buy it. They had a whole bunch of shit out there, man. People would say some things about shoes that they never even had in their hands. Uh, they were saying that the biohack was better than this shoe, which is flat out zero. Uh, I have the biohacks. I should have freaking pulled them out the closet uh, to do a comparison. But uh, we're going to get into this shoe here. I actually did uh, get the shoe from JD Sports. Um, I hit the shoe on drop day. The shoe was available, man. Uh, it, it actually was slow out the box. Um, I actually hit the shoe on JD and the sneaker zap and uh, my personal size 11 but i hated i had to cancel this order on the sneaker app because i needed the points for jd for exclusive access it was some bullshit but um hope i'll get blackball for it i'm gonna have to see you uh, somewhere around the next few drops i didn't get the adapts i really wanted those uh but this shoe here it does have uh the same type of style and box that they're presenting uh as usual, same uh, type of pinkish cream. I don't know what the hell color paper this is. Um, but I guess uh, it goes along with the shoe itself. But let's get this shoe out and um, see why people hated it so much. I actually love it. Um, Air Jordan 1 and Air Jordan 3 happens to be uh, my two favorite, favorite shoes that they make. And uh, I'm going to continue to buy them. I really don't care what nobody say. If my eyes look at it and I think it's a great shoe, I'm going to purchase it. It's just like a girl, man. You look at the girls, some girls you like, some girls you don't. I treat shoes like that. Um, I think this is a well-crafted shoe. As you can see, they have like the Union shoe strings in them. Um, the thing with me with the shoe, uh, I did try the shoe on. Um, the shoe feels like it has some type of zoom uh, technology in it, uh, the padded quilt uh, that actually inside the shoe, uh, it does have some form of zoom uh, technology. You can feel the square bubbles in it. Uh, the box it said doesn't say it. Uh, there's only a certain amount of shoes that are made with zoom error anyway. Uh, OG ones, they've only made, I want to say three or four pair. CMFTs are the shoes that generally um, have Zoom Air technology. The Air Jordan Chicago to uh, North Carolina does have Zoom Air. Uh, the Paris Saint Germain um, OG1, two red stripes have Zoom Air. Uh, so those are some shoes, but this shoe here is very, very handcrafted well. Uh, you can see the illumination on the silver part of it. Um, you know, the construction, um, when you look at the, the Jordan symbol, how they cut it out on a piece of hard material and uh, stitched it in, um, the Bordog, this is really why I didn't care for the OG1 Bordogs because I actually um, wanted these and the color is already in and I'm not going to buy two pairs of shoes with um, the same color and I have the Timberlands with that the same color in them. So the Mocha color I love. Um, I buy a hundred pair of mocha colors. Then when you actually get to the shoe itself, um, you have the green. Now, if you ask me, this is just my humble opinion. If you really look back to 2021 going into 22, um, these have actually been the colors of Jordans, uh, that they've been using. Uh, the Mocha Brown, they did the mid, um, you know, we had the Air Jordan 3, we had the Air Jordan 1 in the pine green, um, Bordox, we only had the one, uh, actually come out along with this one, uh, the Biohack was a mix of colors too, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't see how guys actually had so much hate and dislike for this shoe. It just, you know, me personally, um, I don't care for the laces. I am going to ditch them. So, you know, I, I haven't figured out which ones I'm going to go. I may go with 
Um, this, this seems to be a better color lace um, to wear with these shoes. And I'm actually gonna see if I can try to really match up this green pair right here uh, to see how that works out. But when you look at the overall shoe itself and the construction of the shoe is really all I care about. The construction of the shoe is everything, you know? When you look at the construction of it, and it's made out of very, very good material in the inside. And the padding actually does go all the way. You can see where it creases your ankle. That's actually what I wanted to show you. And the bubble goes around your ankle bone. Um, I don't know why they don't construct every fucking OG1 like this, man. They're out of their mind. Uh, it would make it a much better comfortable walk versus an original 85 or regular OG1 style that they're really flat. If you have flat feet and you try to wear an original OG1, they're going to hurt your feet. I don't care if they're real or plastic or fake. It's just the construction of the bottom of the shoe. It's normal. You know, some people have funny feet anyway, so it's going to work like that. But I want to give you another spin on this shoe and put the quality of the material, which I really care. I'm going to rock these. I don't know when, you know, God forbid, maybe a year or so. But I'm going to try and rock them before that. But uh, they got to get in line behind another 60 or 70 pair, man. So it's hard to say. Um, but when this pandemic over or this spring or this summer, I'm going to try to get into rocking some of these shoes, man. I've just been hoarding a lot of shoes and um, not on purpose because I'm not a reseller. I love every pair of shoes I buy and they are my personal collection. So that's what really matters. But I'll give you another spin on these and, you know, this is this is basically how it is. And if you're on the fence about buying these shoes, I would say go out and buy them because um, they are a good shoe. The only thing about it, the tumbled leather and the inner panels, they could have did it a lot better. You know, that's, if I have a gripe, that's probably my only gripe, but I don't give a damn. Who's gonna look inside your tumble panel? You know what I mean? Let's be honest. You know, you buy mid, it's a, the, the worst synthetic inner panels on mids than you can ever have. And I love mids. I only buy mids if they have a name. But thanks for joining me as always. You know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will keep it coming. I have a large, large supply of shoes on the way. And I am going to do that mid video. Uh, I'm actually going to pull those mids out and um, see what we're talking about. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and everything else. Keep your head up and live longer. Love the ones that love you. Stay in your lane. You'll always be safe. Peace.